Welcome in to Let's Talk Shop. My name is Steve. In our last episode, we restored the original headliner that came out of our 76 Mazda RX-3. Today, we're going to put that headliner back in the car. It all went well until tragedy strikes. Stick around, find out what happened, and what can we do about it. I'm getting my first look at this headliner that's been tucked away over the last few years. It sat for like two years, gently folded in the boot. It's still looking sharp. It's looking rejuvenated. It's a little wrinkled because of the way I had it folded, and but it's still shiny. I'm walking around to the front here. Um, there are little wrinkles where, you know, I had used tape on the back to stop the tearing that had started. Looks like that introduced some wrinklage. Now I am kind of looking at this here and wondering if, and there's another one over here, I'm wondering if I can reshape that with some kind of a putty or a shaping compound right in the middle where the fastened seat belt light would go and the mirror. So that's right up front. But yeah, it's looking good. Let me get those steel rods put in on the underside. Okay, I've reviewed my how it came apart footage. And from rear to front, it goes black, green, green, pink. So we'll put them back in that direction, in that order. Being oh so gentle. This is a sharp piece of metal. I don't want it going through my headliner. Careful, no poking. I am kind of interested what you get when you buy the new one from vendors on eBay that sell a new headliner for an RX-3. I don't know what you get. Anybody? Write in the comments down below, what do you get? Do you get these hard plastic liners on the front and back? So the OEM equipment has this hard piece of plastic that goes all around the backlight, you know, where the rear window is. And I'm wondering, does that come on the brand new one that you buy? It's stitched in. See how that's stitched in? What's a brand new one like? Are these pockets that accept the rods, are they there? You would think it would have to come with that, right? I would hope. Let's put these rods in their receptacles. Putting rods in receptacles is always a good thing. A little Aaron cake humor for you. Trying to be extra careful. 45 year old piece of fabric. There we go. Pops out right in. The way that it's arced seems to hold it pretty well up against the ceiling. Right on into the insulation. Next. But what I need is to rotate this thing down. And because it's arced, it doesn't really want to do that. So it's kind of spring-loaded. The bowed section pushes up into the insulation. There we go. All right. I think through some trial and error, I figured out how this goes a little easier. So what I'm going to do on the next one is put the colored bent section in first. It's going to go in that slot. And then this part here, which I'll leave way down here somewhere, that it's easy to bring that up later on. So here's the nubbin for that one. I've just learned that you want to put the 90 degree angle section in first. Well, you want this one in, but not necessarily in its groove. And then the 90 degree angle section goes in. Okay, that slipped right in. I want this to advance up to this nubbin here. It's actually got a socket it needs to go in. Come on now. There we go. Yeah. 
All right, that one's going well. Now for the pink one. Come out. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm in the back here and I'm looking at the rear seal. It's a hard plastic seal stitched to the top. It's going to fit nicely in this little lip that goes around where the rear windscreen goes. So that's pretty obvious. Seems like it's going to fit well. So that is obvious how that goes. Fitting up in this groove here, this hard piece of plastic, you know, sewn onto the fabric. So the question is, does this hard piece of plastic come on the aftermarket new headliners? If anybody knows the answer to that, please tell us about that in the comment section down below. Easy. Easy. Let's go ahead and secure this front lip into its little groove here. Portions of the headliner were glued with a removable tacky type of a glue. Uh, it wasn't like cement that would be forever. So what I'm going to do is try this thing called tack it over and over and we'll see how that works on our headliner. Let's check it out. Now that it's stretched into place, um, you know it's only been a couple of minutes and I've fed this wire in. I'm happy to report that the shrinkage of the tape and the wrinkles are significantly less now that it's being stretched out. I mean, there's still some going on right there. It looks a lot better now than when it was just at rest, you know, on the bench or just hanging. Okay, now the question is where to start and finish with the tacket stuff. So if I start at the front and work back, uh, the front piece seems to be closest to where it actually goes. Um, in the rear, it's going to require some stretching and wrapping around that rear lip there. Gonna start right here. The side's already like where it goes. The screw hole lines up. On the driver's side of the car, though, uh, things aren't lining up quite as easily. I've got to really pull on it. So I'm going to realize right now that it's not well centered. That side is right where it goes. This side I've got to tug on to get it where it goes. So I'm just going to kind of pull to the left side of the car, I think. You know, real gentle and all. See what happens? I didn't catch it on film. I was tugging on the left side of the car, just pulling the headliner, you know, that way. See how fragile that stuff is? So yeah, I was trying to line this hole up right here and get it to where these lips will wrap around this tang. And that's how quickly that can happen. So now I have an in-car repair. I can hopefully use that same vinyl tape. I just gotta do it upside down. Damn it. It's been a couple of weeks. I've been thinking about what to do about this torn piece here. Um, so what I'm going to do is, well, there's really three options. One is fix it in place. That's kind of half-assing it, though, so it doesn't really solve the issue of the fabric underneath being so, you know, fragile. It's just, um, why didn't I think of hitting that with Black Wow and softening it up? before I put it back in the car. I should have done that. So, taking it out and getting that done while I fix the rip 
is probably the best option here, especially if we want to salvage this old piece. Uh, option three, you know, buy a new one. There's a guy in Texas selling new ones. So there's always that option. Um, right now, I'm going to pull it out of the car. And we're going to try to fix this and salvage it one last time. And, um, you know, we'll go to option three, buy a new one if we have to. So here's where I would put a piece of tape now. Fix this piece that tore right up at the front. When I restored the other side of this, you know, it's looking beautiful with the black wow moisturizing it. Great idea. It was a mistake to not moisturize the back side where the fabric is. And now I've got a tear here on one of the support rods. It's torn, starting to tear there. Yeah, that was a mistake to not moisturize the whole back side. Bought a new box of Tear Aid Type A. Gotta hit the area with alcohol. Check out my other episode where I did the repair job on this headliner. I'm really bummed. This tour. I was hoping to have an amazing result with this little resto job. Not quite. Okay, squeezing these two pieces together so that they meet right in their natural spot. After taping it back up with the tear aid, you know, you can clearly tell there's been some damage there. I also fixed this pouch here that holds, you know, this channel that holds the rods. Fix that up and to fortify it because it tore all the way back to here. I don't need this car to be a show car, so I would be okay with that crack that is apparent even after I fixed it with the tear aid. Um, but I think we would do our viewers a better service by picking up that brand new one from the outfit in Texas that sells brand new liners for the RX-3. Let's pick that up, take a look at the fit and the quality. And um, I think we're going to just sideline the original one, which by the way would have worked okay had I thought to moisturize the fabric side of that headliner. That's where the failure occurred here. So yeah, we're done with this one and new one coming. Emergency brake right up my ass. Now for the pink one. Going to paint one of the stinks.